Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. Hopefully, you are well and safe. Welcome to Higher Mathematics Online class. This is MD Imam Hassan, Senior Teacher, Department of Mathematics, Malaysian College. Today, we discuss exercise 5.2, that is, equations involving radicals. This class will be very helpful for you. So, hopefully, you will attentively participate to today's class. So, let's start our class. My dear students, today we discuss some important math from exercise 5.2. Basically, exercise 5.2 is related to equations involving radicals. So, today we solve some equations involving radicals. Our first question, question number 1, solve a square root x minus 4 plus 2 equal to a square root x plus 12. So, here the given equation is a square root x minus 4 plus 2 equal to a square root x plus 12. Here we have to find the solution that is we have to find the value of x. For finding the value of x at first we have to remove the radicals that is the a square root sign. For removing the a square root sign at first we square on both sides. So by squaring on both sides we will get or square root x minus 4 plus 2 whole square equal to square root x plus 12 whole square. Then, or here we compare square root x minus 4 as a and 2 as b. Then, a plus b whole square. You all know the formula a plus b whole square equal to a square plus 2 into a into b plus b square equal to a square root x plus 12 whole square so x plus 12 now here a square root x minus 4 whole square equal to x minus 4 then plus 2 into 2 that is 4 a square root x minus 4 plus 2 square so 4 equal to x plus 12 now in this equation there is only one term involving radicals that is 4 square root x minus 4 we put this term at one side and all other terms at another side so or 4 square root x minus 4 equal to here x plus 12 now plus x becomes minus x minus 4 becomes plus 4 then plus 4 becomes minus 4 or here 4 square root x minus 4 equal to x minus x is cancelled plus 4 at minus 4 will be cancelled so it will be only 12 now dividing both side by 4 we'll get here square root x minus 4 equal to 3 here we divide here dividing both sides by 4. Now there is still now a radical sign that is a square root sign. So for removing this a square root sign we have to square on both sides. So by squaring on both sides we will get or x minus 4 equal to 9 by squaring. Therefore, the value of x will be 9 plus 4, that is 13. So, finally, we get the solution of the given equation, that is x equal to 13. But for this type of equations involving radicals, sometimes all the roots do not satisfy the equation. Those roots are called exterior root. So, we have to test all the root, is it satisfy the equation or not. So, we have to show the verification of the equation. Now we show the verification of this equation. Here we have only one root of this equation and that is x equal to 13. So verification for x equal to 13, the left hand side of the given equation equal to a square root x minus 4. Here the value of x is 13, so 13 minus 4 plus 2 equal to a square root 13 minus 4 equal to 9 plus 2 a square root 9 equal to 3 then plus 2 3 plus 2 equal to 5 
so left hand side equal to 5 now right hand side here right hand side is a square root x plus 12 here x equal to 13 so 13 plus 12 a square root 13 plus 12 equal to 25 a square root 25 equal to 5 which is equal to left hand side so x equal to 13 satisfy the given equation therefore the required solution is therefore the required solution x equal to 13 and this is our required answer hopefully we all understand this math my dear students now you solve question number two here question number two solve a square root 11x minus 6 equal to a square root 4x plus 5 minus a square root x minus 1 so we have to find the solution of the equation at first we write the given equation here the given equation is 11x minus 6 equal to a square root 4x plus 5 minus a square root x minus 1 since there is a radical in this equation that is a square root sign so at first we have to remove the a square root sign for removing a square root sign we have to a square on both side so by a squaring on both side we will get a square root 11 x minus 6 whole square equal to a square root 4 x plus 5 minus a square root x minus 1 whole square or a square root 11x minus 6 whole square equal to 11x minus 6 equal to here we compare a square root 4x plus 5 as a and a square root x minus 1 as b then a minus b whole square you all know the formula a minus b whole square equal to a square that is a square root 4x plus 5 whole square minus 2 into a b that is a square root 4 x plus 5 into this one that is x minus 1 plus b square that is a square root x minus 1 whole square now or 11 x minus 6 equal to a square root 4 x plus 5 whole square equal to 4 x plus 5 then minus 2 into a square root 4x plus 5 square root x minus 1 plus square root x minus 1 whole square equal to x minus 1. Now in this equation there is only one term that is 2 into square root 4x plus 5 into square root x minus 1 is included radical. So we put this term at one side and all other term in another side. So we have to write or 11x minus 6 here plus 4x becomes minus 4x plus 5 becomes minus 5 plus 6 becomes minus 6 then minus 1 becomes plus 1 equal to minus 2 square root 4x plus 5 into x minus 1 since a square root 4x plus 5 into a square root x minus 1 so we can write this as a square root 4x plus 5 into x minus 1 or here 11x minus 4x equal to 7x 7x minus 6 equal to 6x so 6x minus 6 minus 5 plus 1 equal to minus 10 equal to here minus 2 into a square root 4x plus 5 into x minus 1 now in this equations we have all the terms are even number so dividing by 2 we will get 3x minus 5 equal to minus a square root 4x plus 5 into x minus 1 here dividing by 2 Now there is still a radical sign that is a square root sign. So for removing this a square root sign, we have to square this line for one more times. So or 
3x minus 5 whole square equal to minus square root 4x plus 5 into x minus 1 whole square. Now we have to solve this equation. Here 3x minus 5 whole square using a minus b whole square formula we can write this one as a square minus 2 into a into b plus b square equal to here minus a square root 4x plus 5 into x minus 1 whole square so it will become 4x plus 5 into x minus 1 or here 3x whole square equal to 9x square 2 into 3x into 5 that is minus 30x plus 5 square so 25 equal to multiplying these two factor we will get here 4x square then plus 5x minus 4x then plus minus makes minus 5 so or here 9x square minus 30x plus 25 then plus 4x square becomes minus 4x square plus 5x becomes minus 5x minus 4x becomes plus 4x minus 5 becomes plus 5 equal to 0 now here 9x square minus 4x square equal to 5x square then minus 30x minus 5x that is minus 35x plus 4x so minus 31x then plus 25 and plus 5 equal to plus 30 equal to 0 now for solve this equation we have to factorize this left hand side so by using middle term method we can write this one as 5x square then minus 25x minus 6x plus 30 equal to 0 or taking common 5x we'll get here x minus taken common 5x will get 5 then taken common minus 6 will get x then plus minus makes minus 30 by 6 that is 5 equal to 0 or here x minus 5 into 5x minus 6 equal to 0 here the multiplication of two factors equal to 0 so the first factor equal to 0 or the second factor equal to 0 so from here we can write the first factor that is x minus 5 equal to 0 or the second factor that is 5x minus 6 equal to 0 or x equal to 5 or 5x equal to 6 therefore x equal to 6 by 5 so finally we get two roots that is x equal to 5 and 6 by 5 now we have to show the verification of this equation now we show the verification here we have two roots x equal to 5 and 6 by 5 so for x equal to 5 the left hand side of the given equation is a square root 11 x so 11 into x the value of x is 5 then minus 6 so a square root 11 into 5 equal to 55 minus 6 a square root 55 minus 6 equal to 49 a square root 49 equal to 7 so our left hand side is 7 now for x equal to 5 right hand side here the right hand side is a square root 4x plus 5 so 4 into x the value of x is 5 plus 5 then here minus a square root x minus 1 the value of x is 5 so 5 minus 1 now 4 into 5 equal to 20 20 plus 5 equal to 25 then minus a square root 5 minus 1 equal to 4 so a square root 25 equal to 5 minus a square root 4 equal to 2 
now 5 minus 2 equal to 3 which is not equal to our left hand side since the left hand side is 7 so it's not equal to left hand side therefore the root x equal to 5 does not satisfy the given equation so x equal to 5 is not a solution of the given equation therefore we can write x equal to 5 is not a solution of the given equation now we have to test the equation for the another root that is x equal to 6 by 5 now we have to show the verification for another root that is x equal to 6 by 5 so the verification for x equal to 6 by 5 the left hand side here the left hand side is a square root 11 into x here x is 6 by 5 so 6 by 5 minus 6 equal to a square root multiplying this we will get here 66 by 5 minus 6 now a square root taking common LCM as 5 we can write here 66 minus 6 into 5 equal to 30 equal to a square root here 66 minus 30 equal to 36 by 5 now a square root 36 equal to 6 by a square root 5 so our left hand side is 6 by a square root 5 now we show the right hand side so our right hand side here the right hand side is a square root 4x here x is 6 by 5 so 6 by 5 then plus 5 minus a square root x minus 1 here x is 6 by 5 so 6 by 5 minus 1 now multiplying this we will get here 4 into 6 that is 24 by 5 plus 5 minus here taking LCM as 5 we can write 6 minus 5 equal to a square root here taking LCM 5 we'll get 24 plus 5 into 5 equal to 25 then minus 6 minus 5 equal to 1 by 5 that is a square root 1 by 5 equal to here 24 plus 25 equal to 49 so a square root 49 equal to 7 divided by a square root 5 minus a square root 1 that is 1 divided by a square root 5 now take in common LCM as root over 5 we can write 7 minus 1 so 7 minus 1 equal to 6 by root over 5 which is equal to our left hand side so equal to left hand side so the root x equal to 6 by 5 satisfy the given equation so our required solution therefore our required solution x equal to 6 by 5 and this is our required answer so hopefully you will understand this math my dear students Hopefully, you will understand today's class. If any problem, take help from your subject teacher. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.